Hello and welcome to point to point protocol tutorial using Wireshark. In this video, we'll give an overview of PPP, explain the various stages, some packet format, implementation detail, and options. Assuming you have already captured a PPP session, so first up, what we'll do we will filter out all the PPP packets. So in filter we'll type PPP and click apply. Doing filter PPP will display only the PPP related packets. So we'll start analyzing one by one. So what is PPP? So PPP is a protocol that can be used to establish communication between any two communicating device that need to exchange information information is exchanged in the form of structured data packet. We can see in Wireshark we have all the PPP related protocols. PPP is a data link data link layer protocol and it has three main components. The first component is called encapsulation. The second component is called link control protocol. The third component is called network control protocol. So we can see in link data link layer the PPP information is there and beyond that the PPP over internet the PPP over ATM, Ethernet ATM and serial modem and PP protocol itself is present so this is the encapsulation so if you see, if you see the Wireshark we can see point to point protocol then we have point to point link control protocol and it is happening over a ethernet session so if you see the encapsulation packet it has the three fields like it has protocol information it has information field it has a padding field you see the protocol field it has a notation of hexadecimal c021 it means it's link control protocol if it's a c023 it's password authentication protocol if it's 8021 it's internet protocol control protocol you can see password authentication protocol 0xc023 then we have 821 is internet protocol control protocol internet protocol control protocol. next come ppp phases okay so ppp is a communication between two endpoints so endpoint a and endpoint b so first packet what will send is configuration request and the response will come as configuration ACK then configuration request IP configuration ACK exchange the IP traffic between the two endpoints terminate request and terminate ACK ok so the first two configuration request and configure ACK is a LCP operation and uh, all the other points config and request IP exchange IP traffic terminate request and terminate ACK is a NCP operation so when we terminate the NCP operation means it doesn't mean that we are terminating the LCP link L as well so if you see the Wireshark we have a source to destination In this destination, we have first packet is configuration request from source to destination. Then we have ACK packet, we have NAC packet. PPP has its own phase diagram like uh, when two endpoint is trying to communicate each other. The first link will be the dead link. Then when the link is up, it tries to establish and will open a connection and if the authenticate is successful then network it will go to the network layer and uh, close the network on the closing span terminate finally it will go to the dead state so this is a fail condition what will happen when authentication fail it will terminate the connection link will be down and go to the dead state when establishment is fail then go to fail condition make move to the dead state so if you see the packet 
uh, a authentication request has been performed using password authentication protocol then authentication act message is granted like uh, it's authenticated now let us see what is in the packet of uh, link control protocol and how it is being defined like uh, what is the data used in uh, LCP okay so LCP contained of uh, information like uh, it will have code identifier length and data slash option so it will have code identifier length and options so code will denote the indicates the type of LCP packet so it can be either configuration request configuration act configuration act authentication request authentication act echo request echo reply okay so these are the code number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 we have 11 codes and we have packet type of configuration request configure act connect configure reject con terminate request terminate act code reject protocol reject so next field is identifier so identify its own type number like if it is type 1 what should the value the value is maximum so if you see the LCP packet the identifier is 1 and it's uh, denote as maximum receive unit maximum receive unit so identifier is directly shown what the data will contain if 2 is there then uh, async control character map yeah thanks for watching the video if you have any question do let me know i will try to answer over the comment thank you